Former Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has been shot at again. Security forces fired on his convoy late Wednesday in the Hammerwain district of the capital, near the Benadir Regional Court. The vehicles were reportedly heading to a reconciliation meeting. There have been previous incidents of the correctional officer guards at the facility firing at officials and traditional elders there. The former leader was not injured in the attack, but he has been shot at before. In February, a demonstration that included several presidential candidates was fired on. And Mohamud claimed that his residence was attacked in April. He blamed President Mohamed Farmajo for the assault. Justice Minister Abdul Qadir Noor confirmed the incident. He called the shooting accidental and unintentional and sent his apologies to Mohamud. The commander of Somali Correctional Forces, Mahad Abdirahman Aden, said the convoy disobeyed the checkpoint guard and fired at his men first. If his bodyguards had told us they were driving President Hassan Sheikh, we would have welcomed them and opened the way for them. But unfortunately, we are not respected for our work, and the president who led the country did not know where we are. We have to protect them from the enemy. Allies of the former president are calling the shooting an assassination attempt and demanding a full-scale investigation by Prime Minister Mohamed Roble. Roble has emerged as the one federal government official that opposition figures trust. The Prime Minister is visiting Jauhar in Hershebeli, which has seen fresh fighting. The Justice Minister has announced that an investigating committee has been appointed. Mohamud is a member of the Council of Presidential Candidates, or CPC, a federation of opponents of the current president. He is also a member of the National Salvation Front, which includes other Formaggio opponents, including the leaders of Jubaland and Puntland. The former president recently offered to put aside hostilities with Formaggio after the signing of a national election agreement. ABN TV will continue to report on political developments in Somalia and across Africa.